Hi there. Welcome to Tukuze Matunda. Uh, w today we are uh, at uh, one of our orchards that is in Tumaini. And uh, I want to speak about a very common problem that uh, any tree tomato farmer in this country should be aware of. Uh, the trees that you're currently seeing uh, were planted back in 2018 and we've been harvesting them uh, every three weeks. Tumaini is up there, it's in the highlands and uh, it's quite a cold place and as a result fruits take longer to ripen than uh, other warmer areas, um, other crops grown here are potatoes, of course. And of course, maize takes a year to mature from planting. Once we plant maize here in same uh, March, April, it's harvested in December, just to show you that uh, things really drag. But tree tomato does very well here. So, um, if you take a closer look here, you will see a drying branch. Um, there you go and uh, this is one of the common problems that you should be prepared to fight with and where does it start I'll try and zoom and show you um, in this bunch of fruits that are slowly developing if you take a closer look you're going to see a dry um, a dry piece I don't know what this this thing that looks like it's coiling there so ideally those are the um, those are the strands that hold the fruits together and uh, you notice that they are drying when I first uh, uh, grew three tomatoes many years ago I absolutely had, had no idea and most of my trees dried only for me to learn that this is botrytis and as you can see here so it usually attacks the flowers and it comes down so it starts from the tips where the flowers develop take a closer look here you will see um, and what happens is that the branches will start drying from the tip here uh, coming down and as you can see all this the drying is taking place up to that point so if this is left unattended the whole tree is going to I mean the entire branches are going to dry up this is where you'll hear of dieback so ideally these are fungal infection they're very very common um, I haven't visited a single uh, tree tomato farm and failed to notice this type of fungal infection and what do we do to prevent this of course some of these old branches need to be pruned and uh, slowly we will be coming back and removing these dead branches but of course we have to maintain our regular spray schedule I don't want to mention companies but of course there is a uh, fungicides that are used to control this um, and this has to be done regularly so I hope today you get to learn some of the diseases that affect uh, tree tomatoes um, and botrytis is one of them and if left unattended it causes a dieback and eventually you lose the whole tree so thank you so much and please continue taking good care of your trees. Um, we've been harvesting these trees for uh, since uh, June of 2019, being 2021, and we harvest them every um, every three weeks, like I earlier mentioned. So, as you can see, we are having challenges with with the water, and as you can notice. Uh, we have flowers, but
but some of them are slowly dropping off because the little water that we have we are currently prioritizing our our young seedlings that we recently planted and uh, these given these are already established trees we expect them to survive past this uh, drought or rather this dry period so thank you so much please subscribe and uh, feel free to leave a comment below and i'm more than happy to uh, engage you further should you need more guidance on how to take good care of your trees thank you so much